Uh, my brother Norbert Mao, good evening, good afternoon. I am fully aware I'm talking in my capacity as chairman KDP, a new group which is called Karadit Loy Party. I am fully aware you have embraced the NRM government. You have come out with a memorandum which in my opinion is personal and has nothing to do with the Acholi. Albeit that we are aware on the 24th of this month, the President of Uganda, His Excellency Yuweri Kaguta Museveni, will be coming to Gulu. And being a potential and a qualified wordsmith, the program has been cancelled because you, Norbert Mao, was not available in the country. And the president felt it prudent that he should come in your presence. So that you use your power of words to show that actually I have embraced the NRM government. Which is okay, you are gifted. I don't doubt your capacity in that. But as the president is coming to Gulu, please, he's welcome to Gulu. We will not organize any demonstration. It is not wise. We don't even have capacity to do that for the moment. I would even advise against. I heard that uh, some people in Guruguru are planning to do that. I wouldn't advise. So now that the president is coming, please, Norbert Mao, raise the following issues to him. One, why are our people being evicted from Apa, an area they stayed in even before the president was born? Two, why is there continued and uncontrolled cattle rustling in areas of Orom, in areas of Chua, in areas of Agago, in areas of Pade, and yet we have Parliament of Uganda has released considerable amounts of money for defense of the people. The constitution says the government should protect their people, lives and property. The third question, why is it that after 37 years in power, poverty indicates Poverty figures in Acholi is not reducing. Fourthly, why is it that President Museveni's tribesmates that we call the Balalu are coming into our land? Why are they being aided to come into our land? Why are people who are poor being dispossessed? Fourth or fifth, when will our money for cattle be paid? Six, when will government of Uganda pay us for keeping us in the protected camps for over 20 years. Seven, when will the property and lives that were lost during the war, when will it be paid by the government of Uganda? These issues have to be answered. So I can assure you, you will have that event in Gulu, but it will not transform into votes. We want a clear statement on behalf of Kara, not on behalf of individuals. This one, Mao, you should listen. Because in my opinion, your matrimony with the NRM government is for personal benefits. I know you have already bought a mansion in Tinder, which I can put the picture here. Apparently, after three months of being in government, we wonder how much your monthly salary is that you can buy a $1 million house. So we are not going to be confused by individuals who are looking for personal benefits at the expense of the community. President Museveni is welcome to Gulu, but we want him to make a relationship with the Acholi, not individuals in the Acholi. Otherwise, thank you so much and uh, see you in Gulu and welcome the President of the Republic of Uganda to Gulu. But these issues must be addressed. We are tired of being used. We are tired of being taken for a balloon ride. Thank you so much and God bless the people of Acholi.